Hey there, it's John Siskovich. I'm up in my orchard. It's super hot. It's the middle of July. And since it's the middle of July, our trees are really, really green, more pliable. So we're adjusting crotch angles, which is the angle of the branch. Let me explain what the term crotch angle means. With a tree, you have an apple tree. So I'm your apple tree, a red apple tree, you know, farm marketing apple tree. So with the apple tree, if you have a tree like this, and this is the trunk, you know, I got a big enough head for you to imagine a trunk here. And it, this is our branch. If this is full of apples and it gets loaded down, this much of an angle, this crotch angle here, the angle at which the branch extends up, that's weaker when it's really steep because when it starts to bend down, you know, shoulder pops out and uh, you rip a limb off of your tree that you spent a couple years growing. So instead, during the summer, these trees are a lot younger. Some of them are two years, some of them are three years. You could do it as early as year one if you had the branches out. But year two, typically, you know, year one, the whip is still growing. Year two, they start to put branches out. Anyways, crash course in the years of trees. Um, when they're st they have these branches out here, instead of this, we want this. So what we did is we went through on every single tree, and it's as tedious as it sounds, and we took wire and we bent a loop in one end, hooked it around the branch, and then pulled it down to the ground where we took a little piece of bamboo stake. They have these like green three-foot bamboo stakes that we cut into thirds, so they're like a foot long, and uh, s stuck the stakes in the ground at a really shallow angle so it creates a spike, and then took the wire from the branch down to that spike in the ground to adjust our crotch angle from here to about almost parallel. Uh, we went a little bit above parallel on most of our branches, but you know, parallel to above parallel because by the end of the season they're going to grow back up a little bit. The idea here is to take this angle and kind of stretch it down and let the tree naturally progress down like that so that when they're loaded with fruit, they, uh, they won't snap. It won't be as weak of an angle. And uh, when I was watching the permaculture orchard video by Stefan, I'm not gonna try his last name, but from, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that permaculture orchard video, which I've talked about before, link in the description below. He talks about you can have a tree or you can have a fruit tree, you know, the limb actually facing down because that growth stem, the apical meristem on the end of the tree where all the growth happens, if that's pointed down, it stops growing the branch out because you don't want these to get too super long stops growing the branch out and instead puts the energy back into the fruit. We want the fruit. Fruit's a good thing. So instead of this, we're going for this. And let me talk about how exactly I did it because if you've gotten this far in the video, you're gonna want some logistics. So the wire that I used was actually galvanized uh, wire that you use for perimeter fencing if you have a livestock farm. And why I went with that is because you get a nice sturdy wire. It comes in half mile spools half a mile. If a mile is 5,280 feet, I think a half a mile is like 2060 or 2040, yeah, I don't know, something. Um, or 2640, I don't know, whatever the math is, uh, a half a mile for 30 bucks, $30. If you do the math on that, that's one cent per foot of this wire, one penny. You know, you'll put up a couple feet on a tree, but so what, you spent like 50 cents uh, per tree? You know, 20 cents per tree. Uh, depends on how much you use and how big your trees are. So we used half a mile. I'm not gonna recommend any brand because it is whatever you can get in your area. Half a mile of galvanized cable at one cent per foot, you know. And then they have these three foot bamboo rods that you can buy in a bundle for cheap, but from garden supply stores, they have them at some of the big box stores where you can get a box or order a box on the internet of these three foot bamboo stakes that you use for marking things. Well, we just took a pair of clippers and clipped them up and these, those became our ground stakes. If they get left in the ground or if they get forgotten when we pull the wires off, I can hit them with the mower and they'll just pulverize. Over time, they'll just kind of biodegrade. Uh, when we pull the wires off, we're gonna pull all, as many stakes out as we can uh, and dispose of them. But yeah, you know, cheap, simple, easy, got the job done and there's my phone ringing. Hope that helps you. <laughs> Hope that helps you out with uh, growing your trees, adjusting crotch angles, making sure you're set up well for the future. If you have any questions about this, I'll go more in depth as much as I know. I don't know. Uh, leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. I have 
chickens, pigs, hops, and apples. Those are my specialties, but I also do machinery. I do collaboration. So whatever you want, we got it here. Farm Marketing Solutions. Talk to you soon. Adios.